Hi, I'm Andrea Keen from Plant High School in Tampa, Florida, and I'd like to take you for a tour aboard Oregon 2, my NOAA Teacher at Sea home for the next two weeks. Oregon 2 is a 170-foot research vessel that recently celebrated 50 years of service with NOAA. The gold lettering you see here commemorates this honor. As we cross the gangway, our first stop is the well deck, where we can find equipment including the four crane and winch used for the CTD and bongo nets. The starboard breezeway leads us along the exterior of the main deck towards the aft deck. Much of our scientific trawling operations will begin here. The nets will be unloaded and the organisms will be sorted on the fantail. From there, the baskets will be brought into the wet lab for deeper investigation. They will be categorized and numerous sets of data will be collected, including size, sex, and stomach contents. Next up is the dry lab. Additional data will be collected and analyzed here. Take notice of the CTD PC. There is also a chemistry lab where further tests will be conducted and it's located right next to the wet lab. Across from the ship's office, you will find the mess hall and galley. The galley is where the stewards prepare meals for a hungry group of 19 crew and 12 scientists. But there are only 12 seats, so eating quickly is serious business. Moving further inside on the main deck, we pass lots of safety equipment and several staterooms. I am currently thrilled to be staying here in the Field Party Chief's stateroom, a single room with a private shower and water closet. Leaving my room, we can travel down the stairs to the lower level. This area has lots of storage and a large freezer for scientific samples. There are community showers and additional staterooms. As well as laundry facilities, more bathrooms, and even a small exercise room. If we travel up both sets of stairs, we will arrive on the upper deck. On the starboard side, we can find the scientific data room. And here, on the port side, is the radio and chart room. Heading to the stern of the upper deck will lead us to the conference room. I'm told that this is a great place for the staff to gather and watch movies. Traveling back down the hall towards the bow of the ship, we will pass the senior officer's staterooms and arrive at the pilot house, also called the bridge. This is the command and control center for the entire ship. Look at all the amazing technology you will find here to help keep the ship safe and to ensure the goals of each mission. Just one last stop on our tour, the housetop. From here, we have excellent views of the forecastle, the aft winch, and the crane control room. Also visible are lots of safety features, as well as an amazing array of technology. Well, that's it for now. Hope you enjoyed this tour of NOAA Ship Oregon 2.